Good afternoon, I'm Ruby Cairns with your local 10 News update. Illawarra police are calling on residents to be aware of sextortion scams after noticing a trend. They advise you take screenshots, block accounts and inform authorities if you think you've been a victim. And hazard reduction burns and property inspections are underway ahead of next summer due to the fire risk. All the rain we've received has led to thick plant growth across the state. The Rural Fire Service says they're doing all they can to prepare. And Aussie researchers have developed a simple saliva swab which could become a fast and cheap check for Illawarrans for most at risk of cancer. It's hoped to scan our DNA for predictors of the four most commonly diagnosed cancers, melanoma, breast, bowel and prostate. And some 600 people have been evacuated from a cruise ship which docked in Sydney this morning. A small fire broke out, believed to have been caused by an electrical device. A motorist around Ostermere are warned about some roadworks which may affect travel. There'll be work at the intersection of Lawrence Hardgrade Drive and the Grove, uh, including safety upgrades. A 40k limit will be in place and motorists are urged to allow extra time. In sport, the Illawarra Hawks are hoping to prove they're the side to beat as they prepare to take on the Jack Jumpers tomorrow night. And they've got lots to prove following losses to the New Zealand Breakers, Perth and Brizzy over the past few rounds. Taking a look at today's weather map now, mainly fine temperatures across the Illawarra and south coast. 27 for Wollongong, mostly sunny, 26 for now, 24 further down south, including Batemans Bay, Naruma and Marimbula. Mostly sunny across those regions. I'll have more news next hour.